Time now to meet our new voice of the LA Kings, Alex Faust. He took a road trip from Brooklyn with his dad, Alan Faust. So let's get Fausty with it. It's our newest Fox Sports Extra Point. Hey everybody, it's Carlin Bathe here for a special edition of Fox Sports Extra Point. I'm hanging out with Alex Faust, the new voice for the Los Angeles Kings. Alex and his dad just took a glorious road trip across country to his new home here in LA. And Alex, I brought you down to the marina to chat all about it. You ready to go? Oh yeah, this Let's will be a lot of fun. The weather's nice. Beautiful Brooklyn, New York, and this is where I'm setting off with my co-pilot to join me shortly. You could have picked anybody in the world, yeah. and you were like, you know what? I'm going with my father. I, we're I, going across country. I gotta apologize to him. He wasn't my first choice. I asked a couple friends, and they're like, no, oh, you know, it's around the July Fourth holiday. I can't really get off work. And then my fiance's parents actually had the idea of, why don't you just take your dad? He's retired. He's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, Dad, say hi. Hi. All right, we're about to set off. First stop, what, uh, either Bethel, Pennsylvania, or, or Harrisburg. Harrisburg, depending on traffic, so. Yep, we'll, we'll see how day one goes. Yeah. Pennsylvania welcomes us. Sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, if uh, traffic's any indication, not really. I'm not moving! Ah, traffic! How did you pick your itinerary? Because most people, when they drive across country, they don't plan to make mm. it seven days. I took the tact of, well, I'm only going to do this once, right? Mm. In theory, I'm not going to move from L.A. for a long, long time, so why not just you know, make it memorable? And I gave him the responsibility of, you're picking all the stops. Day one, how was the drive? It was good. It was good, uh, except for the traffic. Tennessee welcomes you. All right, we are now leaving Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're driving through the University of Tennessee campus when I hear this guy say, Roll Tide. Yeah, that's considered rude here. <laughs> um, you don't want to do that on a Saturday in October no, or whenever no. play. Your dad seems like kind of a sports troll. Oh. He <laughs> let out an audible roll tide yeah. while rolling through the University of Tennessee. What in the heck was he thinking? Um, he's just an Alabama fan. He used to like the Red Wings. He'll now be a Kings fan. Sure. I'm on, it's on good authority that he's going to be a Kings fan. We had an awesome time in Nashville. I can't wait to see a hockey game there. <laughs> it's like... It's, it's one giant party, and I can't even imagine what it was like during the Stanley Cup final. Uh, but we had a lot of fun there. We, uh, we saw the old Ryman Auditorium. We uh, went to the Country Music Hall of Fame. It's, it's an awesome city. Today we are going to get our kicks on Route 66, right? Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, as we... soon as we find it. <laughs> if you're ever driving on the interstate, on Interstate 40, duck off a couple times and just see some of these small towns. You'll get a wide variety, but it's so fascinating to see because that's how people got out here. In the 30s and 40s, there was no interstate. And this is a big one. We get we, to do Painted Desert and, Pet and the Petrified oh, Forest. And the Petrified Forest. And the Grand Canyon. Yes. So it's a big day. It's All-American Day, July 4th, so we're going to visit some uh, All-American icon national park type yep. things. And it's going to be hot. <laughs> yeah, well. It was a tremendous experience worth doing if you ever have a chance. Grand Canyon State welcomes you. It's hard to describe and it's hard to capture in photos and video. We tried, we couldn't do it justice. You did a good job though. Yeah. I haven't had that with my dad in a long, long time. Um, 
So it was just good to spend a little time on the road, get to know him, get to know some things that he's interested in that I never knew about before. All right, so after 2,700 miles of driving, including a couple of excursions along the way, the next stop is Los Angeles. But first, we gotta cross the Mojave Desert. And uh, I guess- Well, we're gonna skirt it, kind of, okay. along the edge. I was trying to make it more dramatic. I know, but I don't think you wanna go through it. We've been through <laughs> enough deserts already. That's true, uh, but not like that one. No, well, <laughs> so we're doing that, and then, traffic willing, we'll get to LA before sunset. So hopefully that's the case. I've been here a couple times, never for an extended period, always for work. So this is all new to me. I mean, the new apartment that I got, uh, moving all the furniture across country, I've never done anything like Interviews that. Interviews in the marina? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is this new to you? <laughs> yeah, and it's 75 degrees and not humid in the middle of July. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Okay, coming up, we'll talk about the Kings, exhibition games in China, and answer the big questions before next season starts.